All right, hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Chris Kirkpatrick, back here with you for video three in week five. And this video, we're gonna talk about just the importance of operating efficiently just a little further, because so far we've talked about anything you measure is improved, right? And we've talked about the import importance of budgeting, the importance of the using the right tools. And I've showed you kind of some of the best practices that I would use if I were you just to make sure that you're operating efficiently, that you're able to track all your inflows and all your outflows of cash. And what I wanna talk about in this video more than anything is the importance of making sure you're just living intentionally, making sure you're, you're planning ahead of time because a lot of people spend more money than they need to spend simply because they are reactionary instead of proactive. And what I mean by that is like, well, let me put it to you this way. I, my wife and I like to go out to dinner. We like to travel. We like to be kind of spur of the moment kind of people. And that's okay, but what I can tell you behind that is it costs us a lot of money. And in our past, we've done a lot of this traveling kind of whimsically and on the cuff or off the cuff and on the fly and all that stuff. And what's happened is, is we spend more money on a lot of these ventures and trips and vacations and going out to dinner and all that stuff more than we need to. And I don't want that to happen to you. And the reality is if you're tight on money, yet you still don't want to give up going out to dinner and your standard of living and all the things that you kind of enjoy to, to have the kind of life that you have, there are some things that you can do every day to make sure, every week, to make sure that you can have the fun that you want to have, that you can go out to dinner, that you can take the trips, that you can do all that stuff. And there are just some tools out there. Now, none of this is like mind-blowing stuff, but once again, I'm a lot of this stuff, you know, it has been life-changing kind of information for you that I've shared in this course, and at least mind-altering, right? But this stuff, we're talking it's basic. The, the big element of what I'm talking about here is that you need to make sure that you just implement, right? Implementation is like, common sense isn't always common practice, right? And so making sure that you're actually practicing good behaviors and that you're living intentionally and you're being intentional and proactive rather than reactive, you're gonna get the results that you want. So here we go. Now, let's use an example. Let's say you're a couple or a person who goes out to eat three or four times a week. Now, I know that may sound like a lot to some of you and some of you are probably saying, well, I go out to, I go out to dinner seven days a week and like whatever, and that's okay either way. Whatever your thing is, you, it's already built into your budget or if it's not built into your budget, it's built into your lifestyle. So. If, you, if you're at the point in time where you're like, wow, I'm realizing I'm one of those people that I thought I was spending $200 a month on food, but I'm spending 600, well, or 500. What if I could show you a way that you could still go out to eat as often, but maybe you're spending less? And this isn't rocket science, folks. What this is just being intentional. Now, you may not be able to be like, hey, where are we going tonight? And just off the cuff fly, but you still go, get to go out and have the experience. And you do that by going and visiting sites like restaurant.com. Well, I remember when I was first introduced to restaurant.com six, seven years ago, it blew my mind. I was like floored because all my favorite restaurants were there. You could go on and buy $50 worth of coupons, $50 worth of, of gift certificates to this, to pretty much all the restaurants that I love to go to in Arizona. I could buy those and literally pay 25 bucks for the $50 in coupons. So what are you doing? You're leveraging. Now, that's not going to include alcohol and stuff like that. But really, if you're going out for the food and all that, you can save a lot of money on your food. And for us, it got it got my wife and I the ability to go out and have fun. And and at that point in time, we really couldn't have probably afforded back when we were in our mid twenties. We probably couldn't have afforded to go out and do all that stuff if it weren't for the coupons in the first place. So that was a thing that kind of enabled us to to do all that stuff and go out and have fun and enjoy going out to dinner and each other's company and all that stuff. But here's what I'll tell you about that is we're still doing it. We don't, we built that habit now and we're going out and we're, we get to have dinner and we get to take trips and all that stuff all because we coupon so much and we make sure we find deals. And quite frankly, with all of the deals out there in the world, why would you ever full pay full price? Why would you ever want to pay full price? That's, and I, it's kind of mind blowing to me when I talk to people who just kind of, you know, slide their credit card through and just make that payment and do it just because they, they, I guess they don't want to take the time to research or they just don't know any other way or I don't know what the scoop is. But what I'll tell you right now is going out to dinner, use restaurants.com. Go check it out. I would check there first and foremost. There's other companies as well. You can check out uh, companies like uh, Groupon. You can
can check out Living Social. There's always deals to be had. I know here in Vermont, where I live currently, uh, we have a lot of local options as well. There's a company called Deal Chicken. I know they're kind of starting to go around the region. That's a great company where you can find awesome deals locally with your local businesses and so on and so forth. Uh, there's another company called Local Boar, which is all about going out to dinner. So I promise there's probably, there are probably websites, local websites, uh, where you can get good discounts, good deals. Make sure you research them and use them, leverage them, buy, you know, go out and buy coupons ahead of time. If you know you're the person who goes out to eat all the time, if you know you go out to the movies all the time, look for those opportunities and look to save, buy, plan, structure ahead of time, and you will be good to go. And the same with vacations, folks. I'm telling you, Groupon, Living Social, my wife and I like to take a lot of weekend jaunts, you know, long weekends just to get away, recharge. I work a lot. I'm always doing something. I'm working 70 to 80 hours a week when I'm, when I'm working. And so what do we do? Work hard, play hard. We like to disconnect. We like to get away. We like to take the family. Sometimes we like to go along and alone and drop the kids with the grandparents. And that's awesome too. But what I'll tell you is, is that we always use Groupon, you know? So why go for a weekend trip to Montreal and spend 200 bucks a night on a hotel when we could go to Groupon or, or find a deal on Living Social and get a spa package in a hotel and all that stuff, two nights, spa package, massage, facial, all that, like whatever it is, and, and save basically, uh, you either get the hotel and the, and the package for free or there's always different deals. So you see my point is like, there's, you gotta do that. If you, if you need to do uh, fun stuff, if you wanna have fun and travel and recharge and all that stuff, it, that's awesome. That's your lifestyle. That's enjoy the ride, but enjoy it sensically. I can't think of the word. Enjoy it in a way that you know uh, isn't costing you your future, right? You gotta, it's always a give and take with this money stuff, right? And that's the one thing that I think people lose sight of. They don't realize that there's this battle going on of your future lifestyle versus your current lifestyle. And unfortunately for most people, their current lifestyle is winning so much that eventually it's gonna catch up to them. You can only kick that can so far down the road. And that's important. Now, the other thing that I wanna say about this is like, once again, it comes back to being intentional. And that's just planning ahead with your trips, with your vacations, with your flights. Uh, I can tell you right now, I've, I've fallen prey to this myself many, many times. And uh, I know situations dictate where sometimes it's unavoidable, um, but flights, you know, when you're traveling, if you don't book a flight at least 14 days in advance, it's going to cost you more money. And I've done it, uh, I, I can't tell you how many times I've made this mistake, and it's still something I personally struggle with because I do this all the time. I, I like to travel kind of last minute, or I have business that maybe sneaks up on me, and if you don't buy your flight within uh, prior to 14 days before your trip, it's probably gonna cost you more. That's the thing that I found out. And so with that, plan ahead because if you wait inside of the 14 days, I guarantee go check it out and go go on you know Expedia or one of those sites and see, do a search for flights 14 days out versus 15 days out or 13 versus 14 in that range there and you'll see a huge bump. And why pay, why pay 130 to 150 to $200 more per flight each way when you don't have to, right? Because even if you do that once or twice a year, you're talking an extra 400 to $800 a year just in unnecessary flight expenses just because you delayed. Like if you're somebody who travels a lot, that could be a massive deal. 800 bucks a year, that adds up to a lot of money over a 30 year period, right? And it's all, once again, about being intentional. And so, so far in this course, I've talked about recapturing money you're losing unnecessarily, right? And I'm, I'm huge on making sure you operate efficiently. And what I, what I usually mean by that is helping people not waste money that they don't need to. I don't want you to lose money unknowingly and or unnecessarily, right? That's what we talk about a lot. And for this though, it's the same thing. I don't want you to lose money unknowingly and or unnecessarily, but now it's gonna be about you changing your habits. It's gonna be about you being intentional and you being real with yourself. So once again, set up your mint.com app, set up your track and save app, go back through this, right? And, and go through your monthly expenditures line by line and see where you're going. Check out how often you're going out to dinner. Be real with yourself. If you know you're going out to dinner twice a week, I'm not saying cut back. I'm not saying, I'm not saying go zero. I'm not saying even go one. I'm saying go twice, but plan. 
right? Structure it, put it in your calendar. Even if it's not in your calendar on a nightly basis, put it in your calendar from the perspective that you know that, uh, you know, it, maybe this week you know you're gonna go out twice. And so look, search, coupon shop, look for the Groupon deals, look for the Living Social deals, look for the restaurant.com deals, and make sure you leverage those and use those so you go out twice, but it feels like you're only going out once when you look at your bank account, right? And that's what it's all about. If you do that, if you're the kind of person who goes out to dinner twice a week and you're not doing that, what's gonna happen is you start doing this, you don't change any of your activities, you change your habits, you change your actions, you coupon ahead of time, you plan what you're gonna be doing as far as where you're gonna go, how you're gonna budget, what you're, you're gonna find an extra 100 to $200 a month in your bank account at the end of the month. It's that simple, right? And I know for every single one of you out there, I don't know, well, at least I don't know a person alive who wouldn't say, yeah, I'd, I'd like an extra 200 bucks a month. That's $2,400 a year. $2,400 a year adds up to a lot of money, right? So once again, it's about being intentional. So that's what this module is all about. Make sure, just to recap, make sure that you build your budget. Make sure you go through, you use either mint.com or track and save or, or an app like that that you're comfortable with. Make sure that you go through for the next three months, line by line in your bank, fill out the budget manually before you start relying on the mint.com because it's really important to build that habit, right? Back in the day, I, I remember I said, last video, back in the day, people used to have their checkbooks and they used to balance them out every month. They had to reconcile. People don't do that anymore. So reconcile, build good habits, right? And as you're doing that, you're gonna, you're gonna learn how important it is to build these new behaviors, to build these new habits and kind of go from there. So I can't wait to get into next week, guys, where we are going to talk about the importance of building your financial pyramid, structuring your financial life. And it is one of my favorite things to talk about, favorite things to talk about, and I'm super jacked to just get into it with you. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, until next time, I'm, I'm excited. Live abundantly, live efficiently.